Hello and welcome to Philabon's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Integrated IFIF. IFIF stands for Intermediate System to Intermediate System and is a routing protocol similar to OSPF. It is a link state protocol which uses a topological database to give a complete view of the network. Routers which connect to other routers in the same area are called level 1 routers. Routers which connect with other routers in different areas or is part of the backbone is called level 2 routers. Routers which do both are called level 1, level 2 routers. In the illustration, we can see that in the center there are central redundant backbones that connect the four areas surrounding it. All the routers in the backbone are level 2 routers. The routers that they are connected to in other areas are level 1, level 2 routers. And the rest are level 1 routers. The net ID that we'll be using is created by typing the number 49, followed by the area number, followed by the system ID, and followed by double zero. For example, if the router is in area 2222 and is given the system ID of all ones, the net ID would be 49.2222.1111.1111.1111.0. The beginning number of 49 refers to the private address space and the double zeros at the end refers to the router. The router IFIS command puts the router in IFIS configuration mode. The net command assigns a specific router ID to a router. The IS type command configures the level that the router will be using. The IP router ISIS command assigns a specific interface to the ISIS protocol. Level 1 routers know only about networks in their own area and use default routes to the closest level 2 routers for unknown networks. Level 2 routers are used for the backbone and know about all the networks in all the areas. We will first be looking at the terminal window of router C, which is a level 1 router, and then at router D, which is a level 2 router, and then router A, which is both a level 1 and a level 2 router. Let's now look at router C, which is a level 1 router. Now we're looking at the terminal window of router C. Let's take a look at the networks that Router C knows about. We can see that Router C knows about the loopback addresses of routers A, B, and C, which are in Area 100, but it does not see the loopback address of Router D, which is in Area 200. Also, we can see that Router C knows about the physical networks of the routers A, B, and C. It also has the default gateway heading to router A, which is a level 1, level 2 router. Now let's take a look at the running configuration.
we can see that the loopback and physical interfaces both have the IP router ISIS command. And when we look at the router ISIS configuration command, we can see what the net ID is and that this router is considered to be a level one router. Now we're looking at the terminal window of router D, which is in area two. Let's take a look at what networks this router knows about. It knows about all the loopback addresses from all the areas. It also knows about the directly connected network and also all the other networks from all the areas. Note that it does not need a default gateway because it already knows where all the networks are. Now let's take a look at its running configuration. Both the loopback and the physical interfaces advertise their networks using the IP router ISIS command. And we can configure the router with IS using the router IS command, which will include the net ID and the IS level type, which is level two. Now let's look at the terminal window of router A, which is in area one and is a level one, level two router. First we'll look at what networks it knows about. It already knows about all the loopback addresses of all the routers since it's a level two router. It also has knowledge of the physical networks. Notice that the default gateway is not set. This is because the level two router knows about all the available networks that have been advertised. Now let's look at the running configuration. Notice that the loopback address is being advertised with the router ISIS command. And also the physical fast ethernet network is being advertised with the IP router ISIS command. We configured the ISIS protocol on the router with the router IS command and also configured its net ID. We however did not need to put in the level type since the level one, level two is the default. In this video, we saw how ISIS could be used to set up a networking environment. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.